This month, Oceana dropped a fresh report titled Amazon's United States of Plastic, shining a spotlight on the e-commerce giant's plastic packaging problem. Brace yourself. Amazon churned out a whopping 208 million pounds of plastic waste for all U.S. transactions in 2022, marking a hefty 9.6% increase from 2021. If you gathered all that plastic in the form of air pillows, it'd wrap around the earth more than 200 times. Oceana crunched the numbers based on market data, tweaking things here and there with insights from Amazon's recent plastic packaging updates. But here's the kicker. Amazon hasn't spilled the beans on its plastic use at a country level or for all transactions, including those handled by third-party sellers. Amazon's failure to reduce plastic in the U.S. is troubling, said Matt Littlejohn, Oceana's senior vice president for strategic initiatives. The company has dramatically reduced plastic packaging in other major markets, including India and Europe. Why are U.S. customers being left behind? According to research by YouGov, 85% of Amazon customers in the U.S. reported being concerned about plastic pollution. It's time for Amazon to step up and commit to a global plastic packaging reduction everywhere it operates, including in the U.S. While Amazon boasts an 11.6% drop in global plastic delivery packaging in 2022 compared to 2021, Oceana says most of this is due to a push for recyclable paper and cardboard packaging in places like Europe, so they aren't giving them a high five just yet. They reckon Amazon's refusal to kick plastic to the curb everywhere it operates is fueling marine plastic pollution at an alarming rate. With data from a 2020 science journal study, Oceana predicts up to 22 million pounds of Amazon's plastic waste from 2022 will find its way into our waterways. And let's not forget the grim reality. Amazon's plastic packaging, mostly plastic film, is the ocean's worst nightmare, posing a grave threat to marine life. Shareholders have been knocking on Amazon's door, demanding a game plan to slash its plastic footprint by at least a third. Following suit with the U.S. by axing plastic packaging could be a step in the right direction for Amazon to tackle this mess head-on. A link to the report is included in the description. Amazon is certainly not alone when it comes to plastic pollution. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, over 400 million tons of plastic are produced every year from a wide variety of applications, and at least 14 million tons of it will end up in the ocean. Plastic makes up 80% of all marine debris found from surface waters to deep sea sediments. Plastics making their way into the ocean are not necessarily a result of being dumped there. The IUCN notes that plastics are picked up and carried off streets with stormwater runoff and sewer overflows, as well as a whole host of other avenues. The fishing industry, nautical activities, and aquaculture then contribute directly to the problem. Once in the ocean, plastic products are continuously broken down by UV radiation, wind currents, and other factors until they are small enough to be easily ingested by marine wildlife. Many marine animals die from being entangled or suffocated by plastic products. Others will end up dying of starvation from ingesting plastics, which clog up their internal organs and do not allow for nutritious food to be properly processed. Exacerbating the problem is the fact that many countries lack the infrastructure to prevent plastic pollution in the oceans, making efforts by more advanced countries like the United States even more pivotal in addressing the problem. As widely used and important as plastic products are globally, there is no quick fix to this problem. Finding naturally degradable alternatives to single-use plastic products are a big step, and Oceana is calling on big players like Amazon to take a leading role in this effort. Don't stop here. Find out more. Visit the links in the description below for more in-depth information on the stories presented in this video.